Hi math class, I just want to show you a couple more examples of the same type of stuff we did yesterday, which is the last material from this unit. There will be a unit assignment tomorrow, and we will start the new unit on Monday. I should mention you will need a graphing calculator for the next unit. Please get your hands on one, or download an emulator for your laptop or phone. I will give you details on where to find that in the stream of our classroom, of our Google Classroom. Let's look at this example. It's very similar to one we did yesterday, but it'll be a little more difficult. So I'm gonna say that a car and a bus, they both travel 400 kilometers. The car speed is 1.2 times greater than that of the bus. The car arrives 45 minutes earlier, but they left at the same time. Uh, determine the speed of the bus. So, we're gonna set up a little table. Okay, the good news is on the unit assignment when I give you a question like this, I'll include the table. All right, uh, let's check this out. So the bus and the car, they both travel 400 kilometers. The bus's speed is what we're looking for. We're gonna call that X. And the car is 1.2 times greater than that. So it's 1.2 times X. All right, now the thing that you need to remember here is to calculate time. It's the distance traveled divided by the speed so for the bus, that's going to be 400 over x. And for the car, that's going to be 400 over 1.2x. <clears throat> All right, now we need to use this information that the car arrives 45 minutes earlier. Okay, so the bus takes more time. It's going to look like this. 400 over x, subtract 400 over 1.2x. So this is the time the bus takes. It's more than the car, the, excuse me, the time the bus takes is greater than the time that the car takes. So when we subtract this, we get our 45 minutes. But here's where it's gonna get a little confusing. This distance is kilometers. Speed, I think you'll expect, is gonna be in kilometers per hour. I don't want kilometers per minute because nobody uses that. So the time has to be in hours, okay? If we just say that this equals 45, that would be saying that the car arrived 45 hours earlier. And that doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, so what we have to do is put this 45 minutes into hours. Uh, you probably know what it is off the top of your head, but I'll just show you the math that you can do if you don't. Uh, 45 minutes divided by how many minutes there are in an hour, which is 60. Okay, that's going to be three quarters or 0 0.75, whichever one you prefer, okay? Maybe I'll call it three quarters for now. Okay, now we need a common denominator over here. What you could actually do is just divide 400 by 1.2. Okay, it gives you a decimal, but I'm gonna be able to handle that. It's 333.3 .3 repeating. And now it's over x. Alternatively, you could have multiplied 400 by 1.2, and your numbers would be a bit nicer, but our denominator wouldn't be as nice. This equals 3 over 4. Okay, If you want this denominator to be the same on this side, which is smart, you could multiply top and bottom by 6. We haven't really done that, so I'm going to show you what I think uh, might make more sense here. These guys come together over x. Equals three over four. Let me just switch sides here. When you subtract that 333.3 .3 repeating from 400, you get 66.6 .6 repeating. It's still over x and that equals three over four. So that's a three quarters of an hour. Now you can cross multiply. So 66.6 .6 repeating times four equals three X. And then you just divide by three.
So it looks like the bus is going about 88.9 kilometers per hour.